So right away, after you decided to start a chapter and go through the process of getting it approved, there were some pretty outrageous lies shared about you in your high school community that you were sending racist messages around high school. Tell me more about that. So when I was at a driver's ed behind the wheel, I wasn't on my phone because I was driving. And when I got home, I checked my phone and I saw that people were accusing me of sending these racist messages to a group of students and then a student individually. And I wasn't even on my phone at all during that time. And it just, it was around the time that we almost got the amount of students we needed to start the club at my school. What did the messages that they were accusing you of say? Do you know? Um, there was just a lot of, it was like stuff about George Floyd, about doing the same to him, to them. And it was just, I mean, racial slurs, stuff like that, things I would never think of saying. Who was coming up with these accusations? Was it students in your class? It was the student that got the messages sent to her that then accused me, and then the Black Excellence Club at my school started spreading the, the rumors around on social media. So after all of these allegations came out that you were sending racist messages around the school, obviously the administration found that the entire situation was a hoax. Did they immediately deny your chapter or did they just keep you on the hook moving forward? They just, they didn't deny or approve. And right now it's partially approved for now until our first meeting. Partially approved, what yeah. does that mean? I'm not sure, I don't think that's <laughs> happened to any other club on campus before. But until our first meeting, we don't know if they're going to officially approve it or not. As someone looking for a sense of community with conservative ideas at your high school and really seeing none of that before you started a Turning Point chapter, how did that feel to be completely brushed aside by your administration? It felt just like they didn't, they didn't care. They didn't want different perspectives and they didn't want those students that didn't feel heard to be heard and they didn't mm -hmm. want to have a community for those types of students. And in terms of these allegations, too, I can imagine it was very difficult to be accused of saying such horrible things. Did that have an impact on your friendships, your relationships at school, and your academics? Yeah, a lot of people don't talk to me there. I would walk down the hallway, people would yell racist at me. I had an escort bringing me to and from class, but wow. he forgot. Uh, he often forgot to pick me up or bring me to the next class, so I would be walking down the hallway by myself with a whole group, a whole community of people who thought that I was the one that sent those messages. What do you wish those people knew about you in real life, who you really are? Um, I wish that they would know that being a conservative doesn't mean you're a racist. And I, they took knowing that I was a conservative and just assumed that I was someone that would send those messages, even though that's not being a conservative means. Hmm. I think there's this assumption in the political sphere right now, and especially in the conservative movement, that this indoctrination that we're seeing at school and the push for leftism is only happening on college campuses. Obviously, we know from your story that's not the case, but what can you share with us about the current high school experience that is an inside look into this indoctrination? At my high school, you will see Black Lives Matter signs around the whole school. Um, any other signs are not up. There's no all lives matter nothing like that is put up you will see teachers wearing political shirts around um, during pride month teachers would wear full rainbow clothing all day mm. there was no there was no con and conservative teachers you wouldn't know they were there wow how does it feel to be a conservative high school student in high school today um it feels like the administration and teachers don't support you. Um, there's a small number of conservatives that are willing to say they're conservative, and even when they do say it, people get attacked. They get There was a kid that got milk thrown on him, um, and that's another reason. That happened before the Training Point chapter was brought to my school, so that's why I really, that's another reason why I wanted to bring something like that there. This is Charlie Kirk founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.